Once you've downloaded the Easy Interactive Driver, the next step is installing it. Locate the downloaded driver installer on your computer. Mine happens to be sitting on my desktop. I can then double click on it to open it up. In the first dialog box, I can choose the language and click Next. Now we see the Driver Setup dialog box, and you can click Next in that one as well. We then see the Software License Agreement. I'll click the radio button to accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. I'll then click and place a check in the box for Register to Startup and also to launch the Easy Interactive Driver. Then you can click Install. Once the installation is complete, you can click Finish to close the installer. In order to follow through with the installation of the Easy Interactive Driver, we'll need to restart our computer. Once you restart, you'll be ready to use your projector. If you're wondering if the Easy Interactive Driver has been installed on a computer that will be used with your projector, you can always check by clicking on Start, choose Programs, Epson Projector, Easy Interactive Driver.